unraveling the mystery. The quirky phrase, sawing logs, explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a quirky and interesting phrase that might have left you scratching your head, sawing logs. Have you ever heard someone use this expression and wondered what on earth they were talking about? Well, wonder no more. We're here to break it down for you, so you can not only understand it but also use it confidently in your conversations. Sawing logs is a colorful and humorous idiomatic expression used to describe someone who is snoring loudly while sleeping. The imagery here is quite vivid. The sound of snoring is compared to the loud, grating noise of a saw cutting through logs. This comparison paints a picture of someone sleeping so deeply and noisily that they might as well be working at a lumber mill in their dreams. While the exact origin of the phrase, sawing logs, is a bit murky, it's clear that it comes from a time when sawing wood was a common, everyday activity. This expression is a great example of how language can take ordinary life experiences, like the sound of sawing wood, and turn them into a metaphor for something completely different. It reflects the creativity and humor found in everyday language. Now that you know what it means, you might be wondering how to use sawing logs in a sentence. Here are a few examples to get you started. I couldn't sleep a wink last night because my roommate was sawing logs so loudly. After hiking all day, I was sawing logs as soon as my head hit the pillow. You know you're truly exhausted when you start sawing logs in the middle of a movie. Remember, it's a casual and somewhat humorous phrase, so it's best used in informal situations or when you're trying to add a bit of humor to your conversation. And there you have it a complete breakdown of the phrase, sawing logs. We hope this video has cleared up any confusion and that you're now ready to add this expression to your English vocabulary arsenal. It's always fun to learn the stories behind idiomatic expressions, and we hope you found this one as interesting as we did. Don't forget to practice using it in your conversations for that extra touch of flair. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!